channel. So today's video, I wanted to do a Q&A. It's been so long since I've um, done one. I'm in my Christmas PJs. It's Black Santa. I got them from Old Navy um, when they had their like 50% off sale. So definitely when they have like a, I think they do one every year, like a holiday sale. It's really 50% off, like for real, for real. Anyway, so I'm going to do a QA. and a It's been so long. It's just like over, oh, long overdue. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna do one with Kenny probably one of these days or when we both get the time to like sit down and do one um, and I'll do like a something in the comments or on Instagram like to open up the floor to most of them are, mil are military questions which is totally fine by the way um, this one I went through all of my um, Instagram DMs that I don't typically see and I'm so sorry I have not gotten to it um, if you don't follow me on Instagram I will not see um usually if you like send me a message just mainly because i get so many and i just don't happen to see them so anyway so this one says hi courtney i've been watching a few of your youtube videos um videos on youtube to get some insight into the military life did you join as an 88 mike and how was your experience um yes yeah, so i joined as an 88 mike in 2015 um and I like to tell people like I literally went in to do something else and I came out as something else. Um, I was originally going to be a 35 Mike, uh, which is military intelligence, and they had the MOS lined up for me, but I didn't realize how long the AIT was going to be, and that just didn't work with my school schedule. I needed to go back to college, um, and I just wasn't willing to miss school, which hindsight, um, I guess it's kind of like give or take like you kind of have to weigh out your options and knowing what i know now i would have gone and done that um which actually i don't know that because the promotion points are probably not the best as a 35 mic as well as 88 mic like i said you have to kind of weigh out your options like i guess knowing what i know now i think i did it the right way because 88 mic um promotion points is you have a higher chance to promote throughout your career it's easier to promote because there's more slots um at least that's how it works in the guard. I'm pretty sure that's how it works active duty as well. Um, it, it depends on your MOS and how many slots that are available, like in the state or like wherever you get sent to or whatever. So I'm pretty sure there's not as many 35 mic slots. So maybe I will change my answer now that I think about it. Um, I think I did it the right way, but I also think like now, knowing what I know now, as um, like I've matured, I've lived my life, I'm on my own, and I have my own life now. Um, I feel like school isn't necessarily everything like to to better your career if it means to stop school like there's really nothing wrong with that as long as you go back and I think that's a lot of like the problem with a lot of a lot of the time like people just don't go back so I don't know you just kind of have to, like weigh out, your, weigh out your options um but my experience as an 88 mike has been great i mean i've traveled a lot of places i've traveled up all the whole east coast i've traveled out west um i was lucky enough to get sent to a line hall unit um my first unit and then i'm back at that unit again um the second unit i got sent to really didn't go anywhere but it depends on your unit um i know like a lot of the guard gets a lot of slack for being weekend warriors which does not exist it's way more than one week in the month it's way more than two weeks out of the year as y'all see COVID happen as y'all see natural disasters happen all the time and if you guys go back to my old vlogs like i have been working a lot since i started um since i got into the military and i can guarantee you 99 percent i have driven way more than any active duty person i know so in my in just one year in my military career so we get down we drive a lot of miles um so hopefully that answered your question um and there's always going to be pros and cons to any job um in the military and any job in general so all right overall how do you enjoy the national guard i'm thinking of signing up um uh, overall like i enjoy it it definitely has its moments and its days where i'm just like i hate coming into work uh, or I hate going to drill. Going into work every day is a lot better and easier like than going to drill. I feel like drill is just so dreadful. I'm not gonna lie, it, it really is. But like when you work every day, active duty, um, like when I was activated and I was like working every day, 
um it was fun like i had a good time it just depends on like your team and everything like that you get um put with um if you have a good team and i did i always had good teams um so it, it really wasn't that bad um but some days are like really really dreadful i'm not gonna lie uh, but overall i try to look at the bigger picture and like on the days i'm just like i want to get out so bad i think about my retirement i think about my future and i just have to keep going um because it goes by so 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 fast like i'm almost at 10 years in the military like i remember signing up as a 19 year old kid and thinking like i'm gonna be 26 when my first contract is over thinking like that's gonna be so old and so far and i'm i've almost two years past my contract my first contract like it goes by so fast um someone said is it or oh, asking if i'm gonna stay in so far yeah and they said i'm 28 years old and i feel like i'm a little older to be joining should have done it when i was younger um i went to basic training with like 32 year old people so i mean it doesn't really matter one of my really good friends that i still talk to this day she was 32 when we went in so um is it true there are a lot of older people in your unit i've heard it's harder to get promoted in the guard is that true have you done any deployments overseas um it does no that's not true it is it's not i don't think it's any different than it is active duty um but it it depends on your mos like there are more slots as an 88 mic um so i think even if I, even though I don't necessarily like enjoy my job or I wouldn't say I don't enjoy it. It's not like something like I would have rather done something in medical field or something. Um, I think I chose the right MOS as far as getting promoted and f like furthering my career. Like it's just easier. But I also like when I went to AT last year or the, or this year, I was talking with someone. Um, I think she does something like in the 25 series, maybe the 35 series. And she has literally been an E4 for like a long time, like a long, 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 long time. Um, and even though her job is easy and she doesn't have to do as much manual labor as we do, she's not outside, she gets to be on a computer. She is miserable because she cannot go anywhere. And I also talk to a lot of people like, how can I become an 88 Mike? Like I'm a... I think they were a combat combat medic, which was what, another thing. 68 whiskey. I wanted to be so bad, which I'm so glad I didn't. <laughs> sorry, mom. Um, they, they, um, sorry, sorry, neighbors. Um, they are just like trying to figure out how to get into another MOS because just the promotion points in there are not good uh, for their MOS. So, have I been deployed overseas? No. But I have deployed um, in state, like in country, or not in country, because that means overseas. I have deployed um, stateside. And a lot of people ask, does National Guard get deployed? Yes, National Guard deploys more than active duty. I learned that very early on. Um, yeah, National Guard deploys. Kenny has deployed three times, twice, has deployed three times altogether, and twice has been under National Guard. A question I get all the time is how do I grow out my nails? I have always had strong nails since the day I was born. I get them from my dad. My dad has really like thick, just really strong nails. On the other hand, my mom, she has very brittle nails. They break easily. Um, so only like half of my siblings got it good from my dad and then the other half, they have brittle nails like my mom. Um, so I don't know, it's, it's hereditary nothing that i do i literally do nothing to my nails most of the time they're not painted i i literally do nothing like they just grow relationship advice question mark um the best relationship advice i could give is always be honest with one another and talk about everything communication is key i know everyone says this all the time but communication 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 it is so important um, you're bringing two people from different backgrounds together and it's gonna, it's just natural and inevitable to crash, um, uh, to not crash, but <laughs> clash at one point. Um, and I think Kenny and I, it took us a long time to kind of realize like we just have very different mindsets with certain things. And I think like learning through therapy, um, and counseling, we kind of like realize like 
we're really similar in a lot of ways, but um, our viewpoints on things can be a lot different. Um, maybe something I would take more serious that Kenny wouldn't or vice versa. Like it's, it's, um, it's very interesting. Like when you have been in a relationship for so long and you realize like we have a lot to work on. We have a lot to like things to like get to know. I get to know new things all the time about Kenny. Like literally the other day, um, like in just one day I learned so much about Kenny. I didn't realize and it made me understand him a lot better. Um, but I think trying to realize like you're more similar than you are different and also like trying to come to a better common ground and agreement. Um, you're not gonna agree on everything and that's something that I had to learn. It's okay, it's okay if you guys don't agree on everything. Um, but definitely come to compromise, compromise. Um, and like I said, be honest. You can't grow or like blossom together if you're not being honest with one another. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You can, everything else you can figure out, um, obviously be faithful, <laughs> um, and everything else will kind of play its course. You'll figure it out if that's what you want to do. The question I'm going to answer today, um, I'm going to do another, like I said, another poll. I just wanted to answer a lot of the questions I always get like repeatedly, repeatedly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.